All right, welcome my friends. Dave McDonald's Quarantunes. Here we are once again, drawing cartoons together. I hope you're having fun with these. Boy, we're having a lot of fun. I'm, I'm just rediscovering coloring. And just a couple days ago, I created a couple characters and now we're starting to, I'm thinking about writing a story with these characters, which is actually the process of making comics. So I think we'll take that a little further today. But first things first, a little shout out. My friends, hello Edmonton. <laughs> hey, it's my grade one Care Bears. They're watching along, drawing along. They're creating comics up in Edmonton, Alberta. And if you don't know where that is, I think that's your assignment. <laughs> Go and look it up. Where is Edmonton? Can you put it on a map? Do you know where it is? That'd be a good thing to investigate after we're done drawing. Edmonton, Alberta. My grade one Care Bears, they're doing all kinds of fun comics making and learning how to write. And I just love hearing about that. So go Edmonton Care Bears. Awesome. All right. So yesterday and the day before we started talking about some characters. A couple days ago, I created these fun little characters based on food, which you know, I love to make food characters. We use personification. We bring things to life that aren't human. So here's Sheriff Boylan Egg and his sidekick, Deputy Side of Bacon. <laughs> okay, so we created those a couple days ago. And then I got the idea, mm, I have to put those into a story. Breakfastville, that's the setting. Something is happening. And here's Patty Butter. We created her yesterday. And you can see I colored her. Help! The little taters, they've been kidnapped. <laughs> Patty Butter. And what we're doing, so what we've done with this, now that we're starting to tell a story, how we got that story started, look, where is it? Here it is. Conflict. We introduced conflict. Conflict is trouble. Conflict is a problem or an obstacle. Something that your main characters have to deal with and overcome. And what we did, we used a kidnapping. Someone's been taking. So we have taken. We have trouble now, right? And now you've got me hooked. You know what it means to hook a reader? Sure, you're pulling them into the story. So we've got excitement. We're building a little bit of excitement here with our conflict. All right, and so today we're going to take it one step further. Who has kidnapped the little taters? Well, it's a character known as the Wild Whisk. <laughs> Could be the Wild Wild Whisk. You know what a whisk is? Yes, it looks like a it looks like a bunch of wires that you use in a bowl to beat up batter when you're making uh, bread or batter, something like that. Cupcakes. So we're gonna have a character that's a mean character, and he's kidnapped the little taters. So on your paper with your pencil, I'm going to create a little scene here, not just the character. So the scene is we have, uh, put a little flat oval here. We're going to create a skillet. So there's a flat oval and on each side of the oval come down with a straight line and then a slightly curved line at the bottom. That's the skillet. Okay. And the handle of the skillet, well, that's just bring a line out here. Or if you want to make it a little flatter, you can do that. You can bring it out this way. Make a loop. There's the handle of the skillet. All right. Okay, there's the skillet. And then on the skillet, okay, the skillet is hot. So we'll put some wavy lines here. Must be some bubbling oil in there. Some puffs of smoke, very hot, okay? And standing on the edge here is our villain, the Wild Whisk. And the Whisk has a handle. He's standing here, so let's make a handle with two straight lines. Bottom, there's the handle. Now the Whisk, as I said, it's a bunch of wires that go up. So we're basically going to make some loops. Watch this. A loop that goes up, comes back down. Another loop that goes up, comes back down. 
and another loop that comes up, comes back down. And basically those wires, they can mix up the batter. But it's not just a kitchen utensil in my story, it's the villain. So on top of this whisk, he's wearing, a, of course, a, a villainous hat. It's a top hat. All villains wear, I don't know, do they wear, all of them wear top hats? So with some curved lines here, make a little top hat and a brim. And his eyes, ooh, let's see, hmm. How about his eyes are little ovals right about here, but his eyebrows are downturned and almost like a V shape over the top of those eyes because he's evil and he's doing something very horrendous. And he's looking this way. He's got a maybe a pointy nose and curved mustache, a curly Q mustache as most evil characters have, right? <laughs> For some reason, sometimes in comics you see a lot of characters with evil mustaches. I don't know, it's just fun, I guess. So there he is, not too happy looking, is he? Nope. There he is, evil wild whisk and here's why he's evil suspended over the hot bubbling oil is a cage now this could be trouble so come down with a line from the top and to make a cage we'll just make a little rectangle now this is where it gets sad because inside the cage that's our little taters he's going to drop them in the oil oh no wow so inside we need these little potatoes so just make several little oval shapes. And now for potatoes, I like to do kind of bumpy. They're not smooth on the outside, they're bumpy. So go around them and bump them up <laughs> is the best way to explain it, right? Just use those ovals as a basis and then give, we're gonna give them eyes. Oh, they're probably very sad. Oh, he's looking down. Oh, this is, this is awful, you wild whisk. Hopefully our hero, Sheriff Boylan Egg, can come to the rescue. This one's looking over at his buddy. What's going on? And this one's, oh, this one's crying. Oh, my. This is very sad. And then we can put little lines through it like it's got cage wire. And it's suspended, it's swinging. Oh my, look at, look at the suspense that we've created in this one little drawing here. Goodness gracious. Here's the stove, burners. Do a little horizon line here. Oh my, here we go. Let's start inking our characters. But again, this is writing. A lot of times I'll go into schools and talk to students about how do you write a story? Writing's hard. Well, writing can be a lot of, as much fun as the drawing, really, if you'll let it. This is writing. We're just thinking what would happen if, and we're introducing trouble, a problem, conflict. And we're going to then think about what happens as a result of that conflict. And we get to decide. That's up to us. big mustache. But again, this story idea started when I drew the sheriff and his deputy. And it just got me thinking about, hmm, I wonder who they could jump into action to help save. 
And that's when I came up with, hmm, maybe someone is in trouble and they need their help. Well, now we're creating that trouble, right? Now we're creating the trouble. The edge of the handle there, a little thicker. All right. All right, and then if this handle, you could put a little lines around it, it's round. You could even do this mustache, give it a little cross hatching kind of effect. And let's thicken up those eyebrows so they look mean. Nice and thick. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's despicable, isn't he? Yes, let's see here. For the cage, I'm just gonna use this here. Just that shape. And then our poor little taters in here. Bumpy outside. And you could put any characters in here, really. If this makes you too sad to, to put little potatoes, you could put anything in there, right? But again, in my stories, I like to have the heroes triumph. So I'm not too worried about this. Because I know someone can come to the rescue. It's just this is a this is a kind of a sad scene here. And then the lines of the cage. And down here, okay, we'll just finish up with our skillet smoke. It's drying out a little bit, so let's get this one over here going. Not much better. If you slow it down, the ink will have time to come out. It's when I start to hurry that the ink wants to fade away. And this is just one of those black iron skillets. Put these marks for, again, it's round and you're just doing some shading inside, really. This is just an indication of a burner. We're not gonna to get too detailed with that. Just a horizon line in the background could be the stove top. But there we have a scene where you really didn't just draw a character today. We drew the character, but now we're really starting to tell a story with the last few days of drawings, all right? You'll see when you put them together in sequence, they start to tell a story. And that's how you make comics. At least that's how I make them. A lot of my stories come from just sketches of characters that I've done. And the thinking that goes on once I've put those characters on the paper. All right? And anyone can do that. We all have imaginations. So we can put those Turn those imaginations on and use them to come up with ideas for conflict, trouble, problems, obstacles. All right. Let's see here. 
dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's nasty. <clears throat> yeah, we need to we need to have our deputy and our sheriff come on in and teach him a lesson or two, don't we? <laughs> yes, we will. How did yours come out? Hopefully it turned out wonderful. All right, my friends, and especially my Edmonton Care Bears. I hope you had fun today. We just continued a little bit with our excitement, trouble in Breakfastville, and we'll continue tomorrow. All right, until then, be well, stay safe, and take care of one another. Okay, bye-bye.